Hey guys, Caitlin here. And to continue with last week for abdominal pain, I want to talk about the lower quadrants this week. So with the right lower quadrant, you of course want to think about appendicitis. And if you're dealing with a woman, you want to think about ovarian torsion, ovarian cyst, um, tubo ovarian abscess. And then if you're thinking about a male, think about testicular torsion. That's probably the most dangerous one. So first, let's talk about appendicitis. So if appendicitis is on your differential for a patient, definitely up your suspicion if the patient is between 10 and 30 years old. And if they have the symptoms of fever, nausea and vomiting, and then peri-umbilical pain at first, that migrates to the light lower quadrant. And for a physical exam, I'm going to switch you over to me demonstrating some specific tests for appendicitis that will help you rule in or out possibly getting imaging for appendicitis. So when you're doing an abdominal exam on a person when you think they have appendicitis, you need to do your normal abdominal exam where you're auscultating all four quadrants and make sure you do that first. And then there's four things that I like to test. And one is McBurney's point, which we talked about before. McBurney's point, if you would draw a line between the ASIS and the umbilicus, the McBurney's point is one third of the way up to the umbilicus, starting at the ASIS. So just palpate that area and see if they're tender. And then next is Robsing signs, and this is palpation in the left lower quadrant of that patient. So you press here, and if they feel pain in their right lower quadrant, when you're pressing on the left lower quadrant, then this could be positive for appendicitis. And then the next test I like to do is the psoas sign. And what I do personally is just have the patient lift their right leg against resistance. So go ahead and lift your right leg. And you kind of push down. And if they feel abdominal pain in the right lower quadrant when you're doing this, this could be a sign for retro sequel appendicitis. And then the last test, the obturator, you just bring the leg up like this, you internally rotate, and if they feel abdominal pain with this, this could also be a sign for appendicitis. So like I said before, there's a couple different differentials that you need to think about when you're considering right lower quadrant abdominal pain. And it kind of changes whether your patient is a female or a male. And if they're a female, you need to think about ovarian pathologies. So when I think about ovarian pathologies of pain, I like to consider two things when there is a sudden onset of pain, and that is ovarian torsion and ovarian cyst. The ovarian torsion is definitely more of a medical emergency. So think about this when there's sudden onset of pain and then the pain is colicky thereafter. The patient has nausea and vomiting and there might be an adnexal mass when you do an exam. I like to consider a ruptured ovarian cyst when there is again that sudden onset of lower quadrant abdominal pain. Also, this sudden onset of pain usually occurs mid-cycle in the menstrual cycle of a female patient or right after sexual intercourse. Also a fun fact, 63% of ruptured ovarian cysts occur on the right side. So the next two ovarian pathologies that might cause lower quadrant abdominal pain don't have a sudden onset of pain, but more of an insidious onset of pain. And that's ectopic pregnancy and tubo ovarian abscess. So I will first consider an ectopic pregnancy if a patient has a history of the last menstrual period being over a month ago, or they have a positive pregnancy test, or even a little bit of vaginal bleeding on exam. And then I'll consider a tubo ovarian abscess when a patient has a history of fevers, body aches or chills, any discharge, or they have associated pelvic pain. And if your patient is a male, definitely consider referred pain from testicular torsion, which can also be sudden onset. The patient can have nausea and vomiting and definitely do a genital urinary exam looking for pain in the testicle area. And never forget to throw a Doppler on any of those patients because this is definitely a medical emergency. Next, I want to talk about the left lower quadrant. And of course, you can have the stuff we just talked about, like ovarian pathologies or testicular pathologies in this area as well. But the main abdominal concern that you need to consider is diverticulitis. And when it comes to left lower quadrant pain and your differential for diverticulitis, definitely up your suspicion in older patients because the median age of diverticulitis is 63 years old. And also if they have the symptoms of fever, nausea and vomiting, and an elevated white blood cell count.